fields of Cambodia to the bright lights of Hollywood, physician, humanitarian, and Oscar winner Dr. Hang Noor is remembered 20 years after his murder here in L.A. And paying tribute to Hang Noor is his friend and KTLA's Kimberly Chang. She joins us now here in studio with her special report. Kimberly? Sure, Micah. This story near and dear to me. I knew Hang Noor growing up. My parents are also genocide survivors, and he was a close family friend. I love him like my brother, and I do anything for him. A refugee who faced and endured atrocities for years, yet with no acting experience, he became a Hollywood star seemingly overnight. The winner is Hang S. Noor in the film. This is Dr. Hang S. Noor, the first Asian male to win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for 1984's The Killing Fields, where life truly imitated art. If the war keeps going like this, the future could be very bad. A role so raw and real, the physician turned actor could only watch it once. We're so proud of him, but I was a little bit envious of him too. <laughs> He was so famous. In reality, Noor survived the Cambodian killing fields. He was a doctor before the Khmer Rouge forced him and millions of others into labor camps where he was tortured and watched his wife die in his arms. After four years, the Khmer Rouge fell and Noor fled to the U.S. as a refugee. He became a social worker in Chinatown and was discovered by a casting director at a wedding. He became well known, not just for his acting, before his outspoken voice. They were killing doctors and professional people. Any kind or you are educated people or you were... Anybody educated. Yeah, mm. let's kill you. He took that Oscar almost like a weapon and said, okay, people want to see this Oscar, but you're also going to get to hear what I have to say about what's going on in Cambodia. Arthur Dong, a filmmaker and professor at Loyola Marymount University, documented Dr. Noor's life in the killing fields of Dr. Heng S. Noor. He traveled the the whole world just speaking out because no one was at that time. Uh, he was so he was a real pioneer in getting the word out and advocating for justice in Cambodia. But this story does not have a Hollywood or happy ending. In February 1996, Dr. Noor's life cut short, shot and killed outside his modest apartment in Chinatown. Right, police are investigating the murder of Hong Noor. Police call it a robbery gone wrong. Three gang members convicted. Still today, a theory among the Cambodian community. It was an assassination. The notion of revenge is often brought up. The notion of an assassination that was planned by Pol Pot. In Long Beach, where there's a large Cambodian-American population, his legacy is celebrated. In this country, you could dream and you could want to have a voice and you could, and you could be on a stage like that. I think that's what he represented. He's the one who opened doors to many Asian Americans, especially Cambodian American in those fields. And with more than a dozen movies on screen and off, Dr. Heng S. Noor is sure never to be forgotten. He put us on the map. I think if you look at Dr. Noor's life, you see a survivor. I mean, to have gone from middle-class family to devastation and torture, and escaping to America and making it in America and then winning an Oscar. It's incredible. A true American story that is. Now, even though the genocide ended in 79, the Khmer Rouge, led by Pol Pot, reestablished and didn't end until the late 1990s. So many consider Dr. Noor pivotal in raising awareness here in the U.S. and fighting for justice. I remember him not as a Hollywood star, but as a humble and gentle soul. Back to you, Micah. A wonderful and powerful look back. Kimberly, thank you for that. Two